My name is Linda Glass. I'm the HR manager for Interface Craigavon. Interface is the world's largest manufacturer and producer of carpet tile. It was established in 1973, so we have been here for over 40 years. We have just under 200 employees on site and globally we would have over 2,500 employees. Our quality plan is the framework within which we review our business activities in terms of equality goals and priorities. And it has a number of key areas, some of which are positive and affirmative action, communications and employee focus. Your quality plan really looks at the business as a whole and how it operates and reviews each of your policies to make sure you're compliant in terms of best practice and your equality legislation. Interface proactively came to the Commission. Um, they wanted help in conducting an audit of their policies, uh, which we gave them support in doing. They then asked for support in relation to the provision of advice, again, which we were happy to do. We have offered one-to-one -one support to the dedicated uh, member of our staff to Interface in implementing the plan and we've given them access to our free employer training. So there's quite a significant um, level of support that we have been able to offer Interface. In terms of implementing the Equality Plan, it was very important for us to have recognition from the most senior level within the organisation and we were pleased with this being a voluntary initiative. Um, there was top level buy-in and we are also on a communication programme site-wide to ensure our employees are kept up to date with where we are. Um, we hope to use the employee forum for communicating that information and keeping people up to date. The Employment Equality Plan has really driven our business forward. We have been able to communicate to a much larger audience of people. As a result of it, we've been able to communicate better with our own employees and trade union. And we've also developed a very productive relationship with various communities that we want to reach out to and elected representatives. We've also seen a much more engaged workforce as a result and they're very interested to see how we're actually driving forward equality within our workforce. We always have an ongoing continuous improvement to equality and that will never stop. Your affirmative and positive actions will always change, your communications will always change, you'll be communicating to a different range of, of people as the plan develops, um, but certainly it's something that we have very much established as an ongoing uh, commitment to equality which we'll review. For Intervase some of the biggest challenges were trying to help people understand why we were doing this um, when it's a voluntary initiative but we are guided by employment legislation in Northern Ireland so we do have milestones that we have to meet however with this being voluntary it's also very very important for the business. Maybe one thing we would have done quite differently we would have set up a working committee possibly to gain more support and direct feedback from employees um, and to help us get the important information out there. Three tips for any business would be firstly to understand your own organisation. So where are your shortfalls? You know, do you have any underrepresentation? If you do, what's your community that you're attracting from? The second thing would be to communicate it clearly to your senior management and to get that buy-in from the word go. And the third thing would be to remain committed and positive to it and just to get stuck in because it's a lot of hard work but it's very, very worthwhile.